it, it is time for us to stop pretending that we don't, that racism doesn't exist, that bias doesn't exist in this culture. And if, if you will allow me, and I share a very personal story that happened uh, this weekend as I was out with friends, we were discussing the Dallas shooting at a bar slash restaurant. And it was two African Americans, me and someone else, and there were other that were with us in the immediate vicinity, and we were discussing it. And as we were talking about it, my friend is talking about it, who is a black guy. And the, the guy looked at him and said, and we're talking about the Dallas shootings, he said, how does that make you feel as a nigger? And everybody just got quiet and looked like, is this 2016? Is this actually happening? And I swear on a stack of Bibles on my life that this happened just this weekend in a place that you would not even think it happened. And, or would happen in a place where there are intelligent people, there are very liberal people in the sense of the types of people that they um, engage with. So we have to stop pretending that these things don't happen, that people don't have implicit bias, that people, you don't hear uh, words and racism and prejudice sometimes in your own family or with people you love or you don't overhear it. And it's not within you. It's within all of us. The president said, none of us is innocent. No institution is immune. And so we should come from that place. So instead of, it was interesting because the two black people who were in the immediate vicinity, me and my friend, we were just kind of quiet, like, okay, how are we going to react to this? And every single white person we were with was, was outraged and jumped on him. But you, we have to come from a place of listening. I could have cursed the man out. I was outraged. I was upset by it. But my immediate response was, hmm, isn't this interesting? How am I going to absorb this? What can I do with this story? How can I teach him if it's possible to teach him? So instead of becoming enraged, I became curious about why he was so ignorant and why he felt that was okay to use those words.